I'm going to center my geometry by clicking the middle mouse button, holding it down, moving the geometry to where I want it. And then to zoom in, I'm going to click on the middle mouse button, hold it down, and then left click, letting up on the left mouse button, and then moving my mouse button up or away from me. And that will zoom in. Now we're going to break line 6. Go to the break icon and click on line 6 and then click where you want it to be broken at. This will create line 7 as shown and we still have line 6. It's shorter. And we can see this in the specification tree. Here's line 7 and line 6. Let's measure line 7. Click on line 7 and we have 0.22 inches and we also show 0.22 inches in the uh, measure window. Click line 6 to measure it. We have 0.28 inches. There's many ways to delete line 7. Uh, I'm going to right click and you can either select the uh, cut tool by clicking it or using the control X you can right click and select delete or hit your delete key on your keyboard now the same option appears if you select line 7 and then right click on it same options appear you would use cut if you wanted to paste what you deleted later on same option appears under edit you have the cut tool and the delete tool and you also have the um, cut toolbar here shown as a scissor icon I'm just gonna cut line 7 by right clicking on it and deleting it zoom in and now I'm gonna trim line 6 back to line 1 click the trim icon and now notice I have trim 1 element and this is trim all elements and it's defaulted now the key to this is to select the side that you want to keep and then trim uh, line 6 by clicking line 1 and that'll trim it to line 1 now let's make a corner or a radius and notice you have no trim one trim and all elements are trimmed. I'm going to click line 5 and then line 4 and this creates the radius and I just click where I want it to uh, the radius to be and I've clicked where the radius is 0.184 inches zoom in here and I'll show you that uh, a radius 11 was created on the specification tree and here are our tangencies and our radius. Double click on it and you'll get the constraint definition window. Let's change the radius to 0.125 inches. We have a more button and this shows our supporting elements. It's a 2D circle called circle 1 and then we can rename radius 11 to whatever we choose if we wanted. Now let's create a chamfer and you'll click on the chamfer button. Notice we have no trim elements, one trimmed element and all elements are trimmed. We're going to select line 5 and then if the geometry is hard to select on, you can just go to the specification window and select line 6. Notice we have the angle defaulted to 45 degrees, and we move
move our mouse to select the length of the chamfer. We can move the dimension constraint by clicking on the number or the arrow and moving it. And you hold down the left mouse button as you do that. Again, just click on the arrow and move it. Or you can click on the dimension. Let's fit the, all the geometry in the viewing area. Double click on the length and let's change the value to 0 0.085 inches. Now you'll notice that line 4 I can click on it and move it all over the place. So our next session we're going to talk about constraining the elements to where you're not able to move them.